Chase, you and I are going to be building tonight for casual Mondays. Sounds good to me. I like to build. You were the first person to ever utter the word Steam World to me. And Sounds about since, right. since then, I have played, I believe, most of their, I think, majority of their games. I've played Steam World Dig 1 and 2, mm-hmm. Steam World Quest, Steam World okay. Heist. Those are the ones. Those are the ones, right? There's there's one that we all missed because it was back on the DSI. Okay. The DSI where a game called SteamWorld Tower Defense, which you know, I'd I'd be kind of interested to see what that is, except uh none of none of that stuff exists anymore. I so, bet that might get re released or an update to one of those. Maybe. I, I don't know how good of a game it was. I, I don't remember anybody talking about it, but when I did research for SteamWorld Heist, or not SteamWorld Heist, uh, SteamWorld Dig, because I did a, a a very old podcast on Gamers on the Go with the CEO, uh, Brian Seekerson. Uh, I did some research on the, the company, the games they made, and that kind of stuff. And I was like, SteamWorld Tower Defense, what the hell is this? And I asked him about it, and we talked a little bit about it. But yeah. Um, well, we're going into this blind. Like, I literally know that I saw the title of this game. I know that our uh, third co-host, Johnny, is just gushing about this. And he's also a sicko that likes builder games like this. So yeah, you and I... To back, up, back up even further, this this game, SteamWorld Build, was announced today at the, yeah. uh, the SteamWorld Telegraph, which was their kind of like live stream for SteamWorld games. And I got the times wrong, so I didn't end up catching it, but Johnny did and said that they have four SteamWorld games in development. Wow. And this is one of them. This just got announced, and there's this demo that we're playing that is out on Steam now. This game will fully release sometime this year, but uh, they didn't give any more specific date than that. Um, I don't think they mentioned SteamWorld Headhunter at all, which is the the 3D game they showed off last year. Um, but I, I have to imagine that's still in development. And then who knows what those other games are? Yeah. But uh, once we saw that this was happening uh, and that this was out and Johnny played some of it on his lunch break and said, hey, this this thing's really cool. Both yep. of us said, yeah, OK, let's check it out for Casual Monday. Yeah, this is um, outside of like the next fest demos that we cover on here for Casual Mondays, where we blind react to demos. This is one of the more. Oh, this is technically a demo, so we're not too far off there. But we are going to do a blind react here tonight to check this out. Yeah, I did like watch a one and a half minute trailer or something, but I, 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 I do not really know much about this game. Same. I know there is a. Uh, like an overworld area that you build on and there's also like a mine that you're digging into for like extra resources or, or maybe it's kind of like two city managers in a way um so i think, I think, I think this is more in the in dig the, the steam yeah. dig universe than it is the heist universe heist kind of goes into space and shit like that and and quest is medieval but this is this is kind of the cowboy wild west dig for water yeah. stuff uh i wonder if we'll see any familiar characters i i, I think they do a really good job with that maybe yeah chase i what is your favorite steam world game yeah. Yeah. which uh i'm currently playing on my uh on my YouTube channel, Chase K Plays. In fact, uh, we did a quick look of Fire Emblem Engage uh, that should be going up sometime this week. And because I had to have, because I was the one recording, I had to plug a bunch of stuff into my laptop to make that work. And after we were done, I thought, well, all this stuff's already plugged into my laptop. So then I just played some more SteamWorld Heist and recorded sure. a new episode of that that went up today. So. Uh, after you're done watching me and Bobby play SteamWorld uh, Build, you can go and watch episode nine of Cowbots and Aluminum, my uh, my SteamWorld Heist Let's Play. All right, Chase. So what we got going on here is uh, 
thank you for the plug by the way you've done some cool shit with that Absolutely. um we need to build some work so we're basically gonna be building out uh workers will need somewhere to live so let's build some residentials and make sure the residentials are connected to the old train station by a road so we've got this old train station it looks like okay uh, we've got a dirt road so far if we click on that get a nice grid uh you can use your middle mouse button to pan around zoom in and out and uh your WASD keys will get you where you need to go so and they did uh, say like this is this demo is only on steam but they did steam announce World. that this game thank you mm -hmm. uh but this game will be out on uh consoles as well this oh, year oh cool and this is this year you said correct yes let's they, uh, didn't, they didn't give anything more specific than this year but 2023 must be connected by roads to the old all right the old train station is what we need to do here why don't we just do a residential plot over here uh this looks to be what four by four grids so if i wanted yep. to do this i want to give a little bit of space i know the road's going to cost some money here but we're going to mm -hmm. take this down and over and we've now connected I what think we that's need beautiful. To, uh, we need to build six more residentials, so let's get to work on that. We'll connect these up like so. And I am going to continue building these out here. Tab to rotate. Let's keep some of these things facing a similar direction. That works for me. That's on the road. And I will do another one like so uh, do you have anything that do you have resources that are being pulled as you make these right now i don't think i do um because okay. they're just tutorializing you yeah i think that's the case so i need to do two more of those oh that's a bulldozer i don't want to do that okay uh let's build two more houses and I'll build a nice little road around them. Like so. Okay. Uh, we need to fulfill the needs that will increase the population and earn higher taxes. Who doesn't want to do that? Uh, oh, up, up here, I think. This is um, our income. You asked earlier about resources. So we've got that. Okay. And we've got some wood, it looks like. All right. Uh, we need to build a marketplace. We can do that, too. Uh, what if we did the marketplace back here by the old train station? That seems like an ideal thing to do. Okay. Maybe we'll do it more around there. So now we got a marketplace, everybody. That looks nice. Can I build another road section here? I cannot. All right, well, we've you, got a you can't build there because that's where your house is. You yeah, I'd have to move it up a little bit. By one, uh, Any, anybody who's got OCD is is going to hate you. Not anymore. There you go. Oh, you can just move that. You didn't have to bulldoze that. That's Correct. interesting. And uh, I don't think I need to do anything on that back side there. We'll just do it like that. Yeah. Use that little natural barrier. Uh, the forester turns trees into logs, which are needed for construction. I've marked a good spot for the forester. Well, that does look like a good spot for a forester. Why don't we build Those it? appear to be trees. That's that's where I would put a forester. That's a mill. That's a service shop. I don't want that one. Decorations. Uh, the forester turns trees into... So I guess this is a mill that we're having to build? That would make, that would make uh, some there we sense, go. right? There okay. we go. I could totally see why Johnny would be losing his shit um, on this one. Yeah, he, he does like the city builders, but you like, I mean, you like the factory builders, which seems yes. like, a, you know, not not complete uh, difference from from this kind of a game, right? Yes. 
Uh, let's see. This this building is outside the coverage air, uh, range of a warehouse. It cannot deliver its goods. Make sure it has access to a warehouse. Do we need a mill okay. as well? Is that, is that because you haven't made a warehouse? I think so. We'll put the mill here. Um, all right, and then a warehouse. I see. Okay. We'll do a warehouse here. And that should take care of that. So we've got our Forester, our mill, and... So when that was saying outside of the range, it's not like... I don't think it has... Like, hey, it needs to be a number of squares next to that. It looked like when you placed your warehouse, it mm -hmm. lit up the whole road. So anything that road was attached to, I think, counts as being in range. Okay. Very cool. That'd be my guess. Yeah. So now we've got these two going into our warehouse. Um, okay. As your needs progress through milestones, new needs will develop for your citizens. Buildings that can fulfill those needs will unlock at the same time. Hint, select any residential to see what new needs they have. All right. Um, we need, can I select, I guess I just need to select one of them down here. Is that how we do that? What's the deal here? How, what's the deal with these residentials? No idea. Uh, select a worker residential building. Ah, there we go. Needs not satisfied. What are your needs? You need a service shop. At 100%, you can upgrade residential buildings. Okay. Money uh, and steam bots, you'll keep by, you'll earn by keeping them happy. So we need to build the service shop. Uh, I am guessing that maybe bringing this over here would be all right. I would think so. I so like now, the I, I like the bounciness of yes. the uh, the buildings as you're moving them around. That's nice. Very much so. All right, we got our service shop. We got our goods. Uh, we need to fulfill. Cactus water can be extracted from local cacti at a cactus farm. I like a cat. You would probably like a cactus farm, right? That seems like a place you would want to be hanging out. Sure. I'm a, I'm a cacti guy. Yeah. Unlock requirement workers. All right. So we need more workers. We can do that too. Walls, countryside, foliage. Walls. Our do you think that means uh, our city's going to get attacked? I don't, I don't know if there would be any sort of maybe there would be. Uh, let's see what other needs we got here. This thing can be upgraded, right? Is that what they said? Um, I thought it could be. That one's good I to go. Remember something saying that, yeah. These are all all ready to go. Um, mm -hmm. fulfill worker needs, grow the population. No issues. Item modifications. I mean, maybe you just need to make more residences to yeah, grow that, that population. That makes sense. Let's do that. Let's build uh let's build some more out over here. Okay, that moved up to thirty-eight. That takes care of that. Now that's moving up to in the forties. Okay, that's getting you somewhere. So we've got those going. Um we are making some money. We are almost to our first milestone there. Uh, the train station has a thing over the top of it. Let's yeah. Go. Oh, repair. Ah, we need workers. Of course we need Let's workers. See. Okay. I wonder if I can take out this tree. Nope. Okay. Um, Seems good. like a lot of houses before. Uh, yeah. If you, if you only have 48 so far. Seems like a lot. We're in good production here. Waiting on resources delivery at the mill. Uh, if any issues arise, we'll see them there. This shows what the building produces so, it, so and what it requires to do so. The production cycle of the building and how long it takes. Here you can slot any potential items you have. Upkeep shows how much this building costs you to maintain. No items available for the mill. Okay. So, in theory, we could probably put another station there if we wanted to. Um... Or another foresting station. Looks like there's more trees over here. So I could put another mm -hmm. one if I 
wanted to up that production. Let's see about increasing workers this way. I mean, that's getting you more workers, so. Keep, keep God, doing it? Feels it? Like, it feel, I guess so. It feels like a lot, but... I don't disagree. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the pressure here to keep expanding. Uh, let's do one. Let's just do another, another two. Sure. Hey, there we go. All right. We've got a lot of houses going there. Uh, one or more resources have a negative balance. Whatever could it be? All right, administration window. This administration window gives you an overview of your available resources. Our, keep an eye on the resource balance. A negative number means your demand is higher than you are producing. Okay. Uh, you can select a resource from this list and it, see its balance trend over time. Selecting the item tab will show you any items that you have available. All right, we don't have that. Let's, uh, we need cactus water. Yeah, but we needed workers. We needed more, didn't we need more people before we could do it? But we can so do we it now. enough people, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, does this need to be on cactus? I don't think, is there a requirement for it? I don't think it? so. Okay. I'm going to put that here. That way it hits okay. all the major roads. Sure. That seems to get things moving in the right direction. Farms require fields to function. Okay, so do you have to then build fields, I guess? That seems like the next step here. Um, warehouse, workers, decorations. Nothing there. Park, animals. Could it, could it be under foliage? Uh, Yeah. Maybe so. Cactus, big cactus, flower cactus, tree. Okay, that's not necessarily fields. I think this is just purely cosmetic. Okay. Um, I think so. All right, that's that's not gonna do it. That's the warehouse. That's the dirt road. If you can't build the cactus farm yet, build more residents. All right, that's basically saying that. Let's find out what needs we're missing here. Need another service shop? Looks like another service shop and another cactus farm. Let's do both of those. So we'll do a service shop here. And let's do the farm there. I guess those farms aren't going to work there. Um, maybe, let me see if I can move them over. Will this change anything for us? Place fields. Ah, aha. All right. So where those? Where did you get those fields from? Uh, when you click on it, you can see this up here. It says I place see, fields. I see. Okay. So now we're gonna attach that field there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this other one. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna rotate this. I I gotta tell you, I love that you can just grab shit and move it around. That is. Yeah. That is so good. You, uh, you don't see that in a lot of city builders. No. Oh, I need. They to... want you to pay the price yeah. of, you know, having having to bulldoze and then rebuild. By building another mill, we can speed up our board production. That's fair. A charcoal kiln ha is a must in this city. All right, let's do another mill over here. Uh. If I can, I may just add. Do I want to do another forester here? Can I do another forester here is my question. It looks like I can do one there and that would hit the road. So I've got that going and let's build one more mill. Oh, okay. So that's all cooking. We're in good spot there. This is saying that we want to build a uh, kiln. 
Where would that be? We need more workers. If you can imagine it, mm -hmm. we need we need more. Uh, Not too many more, though. No. Uh, we can start to put them over here again. Let's tie into what we've got existing here for them. They're going to get those goods. What's that bring us up to? Um, there you go. Perfect. Let me bring these roads out a bit. It seems uh, pleasant so far. Yeah, I'm liking this actually quite a bit. Um, one of the things I think we should call out about... Let me see if I can slow that down. Uh, one of the things I think we should call about Steam World games in general is they take known quantities, mm -hmm. and in my opinion, make them way approachable without feeling... Uh, I want to say this as delicately as possible, without making them feel like a kid's game. Um, even though they might be inherently like fun to look at and maybe... Uh, like this character that we have in the right hand corner certainly looks like something you would see from like a children's TV show. But sure. I think that there's a humor level that they bring into it that balances that cute factor while making a game seem competent yet approachable. I think it's a really difficult thing to do. And I think yeah, they do it very well. I, I think that also just extends to the game design too, is that they, they have these games from recognizable genres and they find a little thing to twist on yep. them like m the the example i go to is something like steamworld heist where yes it's a turn-based tactical strategy game but it the thing about those games is often there are dice rolls to them like uh like xcom sure. you're, you're gonna have that 95 percent shot that can miss uh whereas in steamworld heist they say well what if we made that an actual skill check instead of a dice sure. roll yeah. and and have the the uh the aiming like have you actually have to manually aim your weapons in that in that thing and i think that's a really cool idea yep um so to see them take on a city builder now and do something new with it i'm uh i'm interested to see like so far what we've seen has been relatively standard in the genre with maybe like yeah. a couple of improvements quality of life things but knowing that this game eventually will go underground and and kind of <laughs> literally have another dimension to it yeah uh, i think i think that sounds kind of cool i'm interested in seeing it me too man uh so i just upgraded on or actually I, we repaired the train station and because of that we're not going to have the ability to trade so that's what we're going over right now What's that? Uh, someone was hiding back there in the shadows oh my no <laughs> not hiding sleeping the train is right it's just an old rusty bot Oh God! That guy, uh, Clark Piston, that guy looks like something. Yeah. Ma'am, that ain't no way to treat a stranger. We're happy to meet you. I don't want to be a stranger. I am the traitor. This is what I do. That's a okay. mighty helpful, partner. I will join the rumbling of the ground. So now we're trading, and it looks like, aha, this. Is seeming pretty cool the train station gives you access to trade and the ability to buy items that boost the efficiency of your city you can see ongoing trades uh there are no ongoing trades this is where you can set up new trade deals you can also keep track of any active trades item shop this is where you can buy items equipment that can boost your city and mine items will refresh when the when the train arrives at the station so we've got warehouse deliveries um cost money that we don't have but we'll get some rupees out of it i think that we can probably hold the fort down a little bit longer and then add some of these in as we progress but that's a neat sure. thing so train as you can see uh up here is on a timer and that is going to populate when that comes in here so we need to grow our worker population and uh i think we can probably afford to start doing that here sure i mean it just bumped up by 20. let's add in a few more houses finish up these roads 
So the only, my, I guess my only gripe about this so far is that, and you know, this is a demo, so yeah. I guess they're still working on some of this stuff, but uh, it looks like you had to build a ton of houses. <laughs> and yes. when all the houses look the same uh, and you have to build so many of them, that, that looks a little looks a little weird. Uh, I'd like to see maybe a couple of different styles of houses to uh, to just make that feel a little bit more lived in and a little less like a factory. I mean, that, yeah. that honestly is one of the reasons that something like Factorio is is not something for me because it just looks like the same. Like when you see somebody who's built out the big factory, it just looks like the same texture over and over and over again. Sure. And, I mean, there, oh there is something very nice and symmetrical about that stuff. Oh, they got what are they? needs. Another marketplace. Uh, marketplace. Yeah, let's do. We can do a couple um, of those here. Uh, not that marketplace. In order to get the mine shaft up and running. Oh, okay. Here we go. Engineers. But there are still many unknowns to overcome before we can reach the old technology below. You mean there's stuff you don't know? Well, that's a surprise. Charming. It's unlikely that you may have any other questions that I do. Well, if that's the case, Smarty Pants, I've been hearing this weird song since we came here. Almost like a sad song. Do you know? It confirms my suspicion. So you hear it too? No, I do not hear. What is it then? The city that used to exist here was entirely dependent huh. on the technology that powered it. This technology all responded to the same control signal. The old signal. That is what you're hearing. All right, so we're hearing an old signal. We've unlocked a new citizen tier. Uh, the expertise of the engineers will enable your city to advance to the next level. Note that engineers have different needs than your workers. Oh boy. What do they want? Needs not satisfied. It looks like they want more charcoal. All right, calm down. Let's get you a charcoal kiln here. There we go. Position blocked. Not so far, none of this stuff seems all that expensive. Mm -mm. Like you're you're generating cash pretty quickly. Engineer residential. Ah. Okay. All right. That that's something. If you're this upgrading is... these buildings to look different, that's that's taking the the issue I had and doing something with it. No issues. What's this saying here? I thought that was saying that we need to do something. All right. We need to... I need to increase our log production. God damn it. They're pissed, aren't they? <laughs> they want even more charcoal? Well, if you're not getting enough logs, then yeah, the logs aren't being there. made into charcoal. That might be the issue. Um, Let me see if I can... Stow away one more forester over here. And then I'll build a subset of road out. That looks like it might work. I think when you're building those, mm -hmm. the red trees are just going away entirely. Yeah. And then the the trees that were blue are the ones that you're actually harvesting from. So I don't know if you actually want to move it. If you want to put your building on top of the trees, I think you want to put it near the trees. Let's see if we can move this here. So you're saying like, the, yeah, like when you see the blue trees around it, I think those are the ones that you're harvesting from. So we'll maximize more. I could be wrong. I'm not sure, but. Oh, there you go. Yeah, some you can, trees you, would be red you, and some would be You blue. see the, the fertility? Yeah. Watch what happens. Huh. So it looks like I can get that. And let me just build a little road over here. And... Probably wouldn't hurt to have a mill. All 
All right, train's leaving station. We've got log production going. Everybody's happy. We need to get some engineers in here. So we can start to convert maybe this back row here, keep the front and expand over this way a little bit more. Yeah. Let's upgrade. Oh boy. All right, what do they need? They want moonshine, of course they do. Those Absolutely. bastards. Absolutely. Who doesn't? So, item tool. What does this do? Ah, uh, lots us put items in. That would make sense. We don't need decorations right now. We need a saloon and a moonshiner. Uh, right. What is this thing? Abandoned mine shaft. We don't have enough engineers in the train station. Okay. Let's get the moonshiners happy. Uh, mm -hmm. Sand sifting factory, glass blower, moonshiner, cactus farm. Okay. Uh, let's maybe at least get them drunk for the time being while we're working on this. Aren't you going to need the moonshine to feed the saloon? We're going to need boards first. So we've got that going. Let me see about this factory. That's just a sand factory. I was hoping to try and keep, actually, let me grab this here. That's some money. There we go. Or boards. Sweet. I was trying to keep, you know, factory. Industrial on one side. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to use this as kind of like a natural. Sure. We have the mine shaft over here. That just seems like the right progression there. So what I'll do is, let me just build a road over around this guy. That gives me a decent enough spot to put something in there if we need to. I can maybe fill this in with some more cactus. And then we'll uh, build out around that. And that will start to be our kind of dividing line here. All right. Let's get that factory going. This needs to be kind of in its own little deal. That looks to be a very fertile spot. Yeah, it's saying 100% wherever you put it at this point, so. We've got that happening. All right, now we need a glass blower. And next we need a moonshiner. You don't got the boards. Damn. Uh, let's see. I got more trees over here. Maybe we start to bring some production around that. It looks like when you built your mill, your other forester is saying it has low fertility. So maybe you just move that one over. Select the relocation tool. All right. Yeah, that's a good call. That's 100%. Nothing beats 100%. No, that's pretty good. I wonder if I can do just one more to be safe. Would that still be? That's 85. That one gets me 100. So we could do both of these. I think that's in line with that one. That's 100. Uh, can I move this one back slightly? I can. Perfect. Did you say you can click on those tumbleweeds and mm -hmm. get something out of them? Yep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, a I've rupee. got money so far, a rupee, and boards. All right, these things need to be connected to this area so let's let's do that it's now connected uh this needs a warehouse
And we probably need to put a mill over here, I'd imagine. All right. Um, where are we at here? Repair the broken mine shaft. Grow the engineering population. We need to bring these things up. I want to bring this road out. Shit. Don't want to do that. I think you do need to have a connection to the road. We do? Isn't that what did the, the icon above it means? Yeah, it looks that way. Well, if we do it like this. I mean, it's getting 100% fertility no matter where you put it at this point. So yeah. I think that works. Good call. That's hooked up. I think you can afford that, avoid, uh, afford that moonshiner now. Okay. Let's pull this up here. There we go. We'll put that there. And the last step is a cactus farm, which... I mean, we've got two over here. Do I want to just build another one on this? Uh, what does this need? I think, I think you're good. Because yeah. I don't know if that cactus farm is doing anything else at this point other than feeding into this. So uh, I think just your saloon at this point. Okay. Uh, we've got a saloon to build. Any more boards? Always need those boards. Board production. I don't know if there's... There. Yeah. You're, you're just one away. It's... There you go. Now you got okay. him. Just taking some time. Oh, yeah. We need the saloon now. Let's do that one right there. Okay. Now... Train station connection. We need to take care of that. Hmm. Let's go underground. Enter that mine. Good job. Now let's head down to the mine. Press two to go to the mine. We made it. We ought to set up some quarters for our miners and get started on digging. I feel the place shaking, though. Best we dig slowly. Indeed. The planet is becoming more as... And where we find this tech we're after? You reckon my daughter will be able to fix it? Control of the old signal was passed on to descendants of those that lived here. And by chance, it was to be your daughter that was granted this most crucial gift. Never doubted she was special, that's for sure. We better go get whatever piece of the tech we can, then. It'll be out there in the dark somewhere. Okay. Down in the mines now. I see some gold. I see some tools. Uh, we'll need gold nuggets to set up our operation. Click the chest by the mine shaft for you to get started. Chest by the mine shaft. All right, the instability of the planet is dangerous. If ignored, there will be collapses in the mine. We can use pillars to stabilize. Unstable areas uh, will be shown in striped blue squares. All right, infrastructure, pillar. That looks to be an area that we want to improve. We need to recruit miners. Looks like we can make a mining quarter. Uh, the size of the room determines how many miners are recruited. Hint, click and drag to build larger quarters quickly. Quarters must be at least nine tiles to function. Interesting. All right. Can I, I can't dig anything with that. Um, dig tool. I can dig that. Maybe? Or do I have to have the miners there to dig it? That's probably yeah, what's going on here. The miners. Okay. Can you put the, the quarters around the pillar? 
maybe let's see what we can do there yeah perfect okay and they are digging where we tell them to so that the dig tool increase the size of your mining quarter huh Somebody put a little SteamWorld dig in our SteamWorld build. Mm-hmm. Oh, sandstone. I see some water over there. Scrap is essential for the future construction and production. The growth of our city relies upon unique resources found in the mine. Dig your way towards the highlighted tile to uncover a scrap vein. Can I dig? Aha. Uh -huh. This dig soil. More advanced tools are needed. Makes some sense. Okay. Yeah. I see another chest. What is this? Is that a hat? Prospector speed. Hmm. Oh. Probably need to build some pillars. And let's keep digging tools and other resources. So this is neat. It, it seems like you're going to have these two areas that you're going to be going back and forth. Yeah. Huh. Okay. And I can expand our quarters out here. Mm-hmm. So let's add in. Oh, hang on. We want to dig these two really quick. That'll give me nine. Get those knocked out for us. I'll add a few more dudes in. going on here? Do I not have enough boards? Hmm. Okay. He got uh, plenty of boards. I don't know. Maybe that thing's causing some issues. Let's make sure I don't need to put any more. That might be what was causing it there. Not having this ability that was needed. Oh, yeah, it looks like there's some... Maybe it's those, like, extra rocks or dirt clods or whatever that are on yeah. that, those tiles. Yeah. Somebody cleaned one of those up just now. I don't know what caused that. Don't need another one of those. Discovered the... the okay. Okay. To my scrap vein, we will need to help the help of prospectors head back up to the city so we can prepare for their arrival. I have marked uh, several deposits to the tools in the mine. All right, so let me just finish adding in at least one more thing there. And that should make them come take care of that. Back up in the city. What are they saying? Not connected to a warehouse. That would be a problem. That takes care of that. What do you need? You're good. More engineers. Okay. Uh, to get the help of prospectors, we need to grow our city, upgrading more workers to engineers, or fulfilling your engineers' needs will do the trick. Uh, we can definitely upgrade this row to engineers. That was always the plan. And we are needing to grow 
quite a bit more engineers there, yeah. it looks like. But it also, it seems like you might just need more workers, too. You're at negative 30 in that okay. top left part. Let's start, uh, start cooking. Finish our roads really quick. All right, that takes care of at least some workers. We said we need more engineers and workers though, right? Uh, you're you're gaining them. Like you're at fifty-four engineers. I wonder if that's still going up or if you need to keep making more. Uh, yeah, probably. Probably need to start making some more here. Then I can maybe convert to engineering as needed. Let's see about getting some engineers here. Um, all right, they're not fully satisfied, it looks like. We need to build some some Pretty things shy. here. Let's do, uh, do a repair shop here. And... Uh, what were some of the other things that we were seeing there? That looks to take care. It. Okay. Uh, engineers upgrade. Oh boy. There we go. You got a new road type. It will make warehouses and service buildings reach further as well as speed up your carriers. Nice. Okay. So maybe I can redo all this stuff over here, leave these as they yeah. were. Uh, let's start there. Oh boy, don't have the tools to do that. All right, we're gonna hold off on that road for a bit. Um, prospectors, recruit two. I need uh, another miner, so why don't you go back down to the to the mine and there we are that's cleared out okay so that should take care of that i wonder if i can do i need to build another one of those not that yet let's just clear that out I like the little train animation over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like a lot of this UI stuff. The, mm -hmm. That mini map looks pretty cool. Yep. The the stuff at the top, just little icon stuff, uh, makes some sense. Yes. I mean, I guess it. I guess it's a little difficult to know which color hat necessarily is which type of job that they need, but I'm sure that's something you just get used to as you play. We're going to clear out some space here. Okay. So far, no need for that. Let's build out a prospector quarters. Uh, let's see. The larger the quarter, the more the prospector. Can you, okay. All right. Um, what's our gold? 38 gold. We've got wood as well. Maybe I do prospectors on this side. Clear that out a little bit. Can I dig that out? Yeah. Let's get those out of the way. 
I can extend our miner and then add our prospector, and then we'll start to work on that vein over there. Sounds good. This seems, uh, you know, kind of, kind of beefy for a uh, for a demo. Feels like we're seeing a lot of mechanics. Yeah, I, I'm digging it for sure. I think that they've got. I, I can totally understand like why Johnny would make the the comment he made about this meeting those needs. Like it's mm -hmm. it's well done. All right, we've got some support built out. Let's start with the old timey prospectors. You now have a steady flow of scrap. We should consider building a tool maker in the city so we don't have to rely on finding tools in the mine. Look at this. That's that's all right by me. Let me finish this off really quick. There's that one. And I'm going to go ahead and take this out, which I can't. So I'll wait. Let's go back up there and build that tool maker. Um... Uh, Bobby, I just got a, uh, a Steam notification, or what, maybe maybe that's a Discord notification. I think it's a Steam notification. Mm -hmm. um, that one of my friends is playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Who? How do you feel about that? Uh, nobody you've met, and nobody I've talked to since college. I've I've oftentimes wondered, is it worth going back to now? And then I realized that outside of the issues I ran into with it, the way it played and felt and just functioned. Yeah. I don't know how much I liked what they were doing with the story. Yeah. Like if that game 100% played well, uh, still don't think I'd like it. No. And at this point with, you know, what seemingly a retcon on the way. Yeah. Do we really need that? Yeah, I mean, it, I'd be more inclined to just go back and play more Mass Effect trilogy than yeah. than doing uh, uh, Andromeda. A pickaxe um, maker. Oh, okay. Now your uh, sand thing has that low fertility thing. I guess you shouldn't build other buildings around your sand thing. Let's see what this is saying. Low fertility. I wonder if that's because it like will consume it. Let me see what happens if I move some stuff here. I'm going to move that. I think it's just because you have buildings on top of its sand. Yeah, yeah. there we go. Okay. Um, technically, I don't need these things to be right up on it. What's this fertility at now? 66? Should I, should I move even... Dare I move even further, Chase? Well, maybe move the the sand thing instead of moving the other buildings. No, that's true. That would still you just be need it connected. Yeah, you just need to connect to the road, but you you just want to put it in a place where you're not going to build other yeah. stuff. Um, I could move these guys over because that's the saloon. I could leave that there or do this and that opens up warehouse as well as some residential building here for me if yeah. I wanted to just go ahead and throw in you got a lot of cash let's spend it yeah maybe try out those new roads do we have enough tools for the roads I don't we only know. have seven what, what tool oh okay <laughs> I was wondering if there were specific tools, but no, tools is just a, another resource in this game. Yes. Uh, they are not satisfied. They need a market. Let's make a market really quick. I like you to have the market there. That takes care of that. What are, some, that uh, what are some city builders you like, Bobby? Um, SimCity for the Super Nintendo. There you go. That's the best one. Um, I like that one quite a bit. Um, honestly, man, like this city builders are typically like I appreciate them, but 
this is kind of doing something with my brain. Like, okay, you need this to do this. You need that to do that. And I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Like I, I would rather yeah. do something like this than um, like a North Guard. Like I don't want like the 4X, sure. you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you there. And and even SimCity, as much as I... SimCity for the SNES is is just one of my favorite games. And it's very good. It, it doesn't have much to do with the actual city building part. It's more about the pixel art graphics. Yep. It's that fucking awesome music. And, yeah, dude, that music's and then, very good. And then it's like, yeah, and the game's fine. But there are there are elements in there that feel a little bit arcane of, okay, what, why, why does this get me money? What is the exact tax rate I should be leaving this thing on? And so I'm kind of with you that I like the more A to B to C that this game is doing. Yeah. Hey, you need this thing that leads to that thing that leads to that thing. Like it's all it's all just spelled out for you here, which is kind of nice. Um, <coughs> Agreed. I like that quite a bit. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get rid of those. Perfect. But it also doesn't have Doctor Wright, so you know. And that is not all zero, right. Zero with out me. of ten. And there we go. We got some plots now. So I think everybody should be pretty happy here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade this to an engineer. That takes care of that. All right, um, build a pickaxe maker. Hmm. Is that, the, is that the far right one that was grayed out? Maybe oh, like a pickaxe. Let's take a look. Oh wait, now it's green. There you go. That's a spare parts. I don't know. The, the, there we there go. You go. Yep. We need scrap found in the mines. We need this dude. Um, is that going to take that down? That is going to take that down. That is not though. You don't have enough tools to make it anyway. Damn. Almost there. I'll just chill for a second. Yep. And then we'll, we'll throw that there. That'll start that process. And um, I wonder if I can tap into these trees back here as well. Sure. Uh, how long have we been going? Probably getting to the point where we want to start considering know, wrapping up. Yeah, I'd be okay with that. Let's, uh, we're not going to get to milestone eight, I don't think, anytime soon. But let me build this out and uh, we'll go from there. This is getting. This is getting a bit more in depth for sure. Yeah, you already built a significant amount of stuff. Uh, you're you're kind of starting to run out of room. I feel like you've covered about three quarters of the of the area here. Maybe? Yeah, I mean this this spots we haven't looked around here. Like I don't know what those are over there. Um, yeah, I wonder. I wonder if they're eventually going to have you break through. You got all this here. Oh, okay. So maybe just because this is the demo, they're not going to let you go through that next area. But yeah, I would I would bet that this is probably like what we're going to get here. So I can do <clears throat> if, I, if I'm sticking to my half and half here, I can do a little bit more residential. Yeah, um, we should be what's able to build the, uh, this. What, what's that factory builder that you played where you went to the different planets and had different factories on different planets? Oh my god, um, it's on Game Pass. Um, hang on. Okay, it reminded me a little bit of uh, was that was that SimCity Four or was that the the SimCity reboot where you had like four different places that you could build cities that had. You could have like co-op ones where hmm. people were all building their own cities that would then feed into each other for different resources. So like I could have a city that was built with a specific purpose in mind, and then you could have a city that was built with a different purpose, and then we could pool our resources and do trade and stuff. I I, I remember people didn't like that SimCity, <laughs> but uh, but it reminded me a lot of that planet stuff too. I wonder if seeing seeing that locked off area maybe there's a similar thing here where you build different cities dyson spear project okay gotcha sorry i just remembered it yeah 
good. That would be what you were saying. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. That is neat. I mean, it, you're kind of doing that already with the the city above ground and the, you know, it's not exactly a city, but what this is this is like another build thing that's going on underneath. All right, that's not letting me build over here for some. I guess it's too close to that. Um, can we clear out all of this? Bridge. Aha! Huzzah! We need a bridge. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So now they're working on the vein. I'm clearing this out. Let me eliminate that. This is neat down here, man. It's like a whole second game. Mm -hmm. This is really slick. I can get on board with this for sure. I think this is going to end up being a day one pickup for me. <laughs> it seems good. Yeah, uh, it, it's been a while since I've played a city builder. I was I was really close to putting city skylines on my uh, I'm curious. backlog roulette, uh, but I, because I, I hear people say that's one of the best ones in recent memory. That's what I hear, but, too. Uh, but I'd be uh, I'd be up to to try a city builder and maybe this is the one. I, I think that's fair. Uh, let's. Let's call it here before we get into the, that cursed one more round. <laughs> sure. Um, all right. Uh, a few things here. I don't know if I got, I think I forgot to update credits on here. Let me, let me take a look and see how fucked we are. I need to grab your camera. I know that much because the other one, we weren't playing a game together. Uh, credits. Hey, it's ready to go. It's not accurate, but it's ready to go. And, and our pictures aren't there. Yeah, I don't. I don't see our faces. <laughs> There's one face. There's a chase face. Um, Yay! While I put that one here, that's the right spot, I think. Maybe, maybe is that the right one? Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to get in here in the right spot here. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then uh, I need to add in. my camera or this one we'll do that there we go and look at us go oh johnny so you're so late wow johnny it's like you don't fucking pay attention to what our schedule is that we do every week <laughs> jesus christ um you got one thing right today i'll give you that steam yeah. world builds pretty cool unlike you um all right, let's talk a little bit about what this week was and was not and what it could end up still being. We were going to play Monster Train tonight, cats out of the bag, but I'm happy we played SteamWorld Build. This is really cool. Yeah. Uh, Monster Train, though, very cool and probably not very far off from something we'll do. Uh, we've got a quick look going up tomorrow, fingers crossed, for Fire Emblem Engage, and we are all enjoying that game quite a bit. If you want to hear why... Come back right here to Twitch on Wednesday night at 10.30 p.m. Central, where we're going to be talking about that game, I suspect, quite a bit. Um, we've got a we've got a quick look going up on Thursday. I'm on the fence about this one. Um, it's a difficult game to quick look, and I'm not 100% satisfied with that quick look. Um, Control-Alt-Ego is the game. So we may put that out on Thursday. We might sit on that one. We might re-record it. Who knows? Um, hey, you know what we're we're playing we're playing par here like not every quick look has to be the best we put out two a week i think that's yeah. that's pretty good they don't all have to be I the biggest of winners and then friday night uh we're gonna try something new here with the power technology uh if johnny can remember what time we actually do this um we'll be streaming the remake of dead space which fun fact johnny and i are giant babies when it comes to scary things and I'm also a baby chase has an invitation to be a scared baby with us but we're going to be checking out 
Dead Space remake, Friday night, 10.30 p.m. Central right here. Uh, so th that's our week at a, at a glance. Um, next week, Johnny will not be here for a few things, I don't think, right? Johnny, if you're still in chat or if you haven't left, I know you're not going to be here for Friday. Will you be here for the podcast is the question. While we're waiting on Johnny, uh, it only took him an hour tonight, so we'll hopefully have a response here soon. Uh, Chase, you're, you mentioned your shit at the beginning of the show when we were talking about um, the beginning of the stream, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Steam World uh, Heist and what you've been doing with that. What else you got, you got going on? Yeah, uh, a couple things. So, so yeah, you can check out my SteamWorld Heist um, Let's Play that I've been doing on Chase K Plays uh, on YouTube. So just search Chase K Plays on YouTube or go to that link in the link tree and you'll find it real fast. Uh, that's That's been fun, uh, though I am looking forward to getting uh, this capture card in the in the PC fix so I can have it at the, the even nicer frame rate and, and being captured the right way instead of the the kind of uh, back alley way that I'm doing on my laptop right now. Yes. Um, but uh, you can you can check that out. And that's been that's been a lot of fun. Hopefully I can get back to doing that more regularly. But then I also have a, another podcast that I do. It's called Pilot Program. I do it with my good friend, Pierce Corshane, good friend of the show, Pierce Corshane. And uh, we're about to record this week. Uh, we're doing in living color, so that'll be uh, that'll be cool, and we'll uh, post that probably sometime this weekend. And uh, that's that's been a cool that's been a cool show. It's introduced me to a lot of TV shows that I've been meaning to see, and uh, and it's just fun to talk with my good friend about television and kind of what where these shows come from and and what happened to them. That's awesome, man. Uh... Yeah. What else is awesome? We got Jedi in chat. Welcome, Jedi. <laughs> Sorry you caught us right as we're about yeah. to wrap up. Yeah, we're wrapping up. We did a really cool look at... Um... Hey! What's <laughs> there it is. going on here? <laughs> uh, Steam World Build. Demo's out for free. Check that one out. Johnny, thanks for the wreck. Johnny will be out next week, so Chase and I uh, will tackle a few a different preview, things. Right? Uh, it is a preview, so depending you on spin the wheel, we get to. Well, I get to pick for 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 Johnny. Is that how that works, or the wheel picks for everybody? The wheel, no, they're just the wheel picks for me. You guys already put your picks in, uh, so we'll just spin the wheel and see what it lands on. So we've got the wheel spin next week. We've got mm -hmm. uh, potential monster train next week, and uh, I don't know if there's anything I'm picking up. I might get Dead Space as well, but I probably won't stream that by myself. Uh, we'll have a schedule up next week. I did not put the schedule up today. Uh, work probs. So, got tied down. But I will work on that. I might post it uh, anyway next... Or tomorrow, I should say. But next week, we'll come up with a new, a new game plan without Johnny. And we will break down the games that are coming out in February and our top picks there. Uh, Jedi, great to catch you, even for a minute. Johnny, thanks for the recommendation. Chase, thanks also for a blind playthrough of SteamWorld Build demo out yeah, later this year. Yeah, that was fun. This was cool. Uh, we'll check you all soon. Take care.